Welcome to our Backyard Habitats video series. I'm Becky. Today I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly puddler. If you're like me, you love the sight of beautiful, colorful butterflies. You can invite butterflies to visit your backyard by adding a butterfly water dish or puddling pool. Just like kids, butterflies love puddles. They assemble around them to fulfill their need for salt and nutrients. They prefer the safety of puddles instead of backyard ponds and bird baths, which can overwhelm them. You can make a butterfly puddler with a shallow pan or dish you already have, such as a plastic or terracotta plant saucer. Today, I'm gonna to use a pie tin and we're gonna get a little creative and decorate it. To make this version, in addition to the pie tin, you're gonna need a hole punch, some scissors. You'll also need some kind of string. So it could be string, it could be twine. Um, today I'm gonna use plastic lacing uh, just because it works with the beading really well, but any kind of string will work. You're also gonna need some beads if you want to decorate it. You'll need some rocks. And we're also gonna need some water. So what I've done is I've poked three holes already in my pie tin. And I'm gonna poke one more so that there's four. And we're gonna use these holes to hang our string. So we'll put one more hole in there. That's what we use the hole punch for. And then I've also cut four pieces of lacing, about two feet in length. And like I said, you can use any kind of string that you have at home. And I've started tying the lacing onto the pie tin. So I'm gonna take my last piece and tie it on. And you just slip it through the hole and tie a knot so that it's secure and that you can hang your puddler. So now I have all my laces tied. You guys can see them hanging here. And I'm going to add some beads to make it fit for those beautiful butterflies. Now the beading step is completely optional. Um, it's just fun and a good way to add some flair to your butterfly puddler. Um, beading is also a great way for kids to build fine motor skills. And the plastic lacing is sometimes a little bit easier to bead with, especially if you have little ones. Um, sometimes the string or the twine can unravel a little bit. So that's why I'm using this lacing today. Um, it's used to make the lanyards and the keychains with beads. So it's specifically meant to go with these beads, which the beads I'm using today are called pony beads. And you can get both beads and lacing at any place you can get craft supplies usually. So this is gonna be a hanging butterfly puddler, but you don't even have to make a hanging one if you don't want. You could just take your, your pie tin or your um, plant saucer and you could sort of bury it in the ground up to the rim in your garden. And you could use that as just a butterfly puddler in the ground too. But if you wanna make a hanging one, tie your string on, add some beads for a little decoration, and it'll be really colorful in your backyard. Once you have your beading done, tie all four strands together at the top. I'm gonna leave a little extra space at the top of mine, just in case we need some little extra room for hanging. And I just take all four strands together and tie a big knot like that. And here you have your finished butterfly puddler. So lastly, we need to fill our puddler with water to attract butterflies. And even in shallow dishes like this one, butterflies need places to perch to drink the water. So I'm gonna put a few flat rocks in mine so they have somewhere to, to perch. You could also use sand, gravel, um, sponges, soil, just to kind of give them, a, so they're not, it's just not one big pool of water. And so then I'm just gonna pour some water in, maybe about halfway, not covering the rocks. Uh, you can also add fruit to your puddler, such as sliced oranges or bananas. And you can also sprinkle a little salt on it to provide this much needed nutrient to the butterflies. So now you wanna find a place in your yard to hang your puddler. A sunny area out of strong winds is ideal. And then sit back and watch for butterflies. Uh, they usually visit puddling sites during the heat of the day. And be sure to keep your puddler replenished with water. Look for additional resources for this project in the description below and check out the other videos in our Backyard Habitat series. Thanks for watching and enjoy your butterflies.